Well, hello and welcome back to another episode of Train Lee Tech TV and the Alpine and Western Pacific Railroad. I'm Holly McLean and I'm glad to have you joining us again today. So this is going to be a short update, uh, not like a full episode, but uh, a short update on what we've been doing on some of the small things, uh, but kind of important things uh, before we get going on to uh, really applying the, all the detail to the outside of the building. The first thing was uh, we, you know, and from the previous episode, you know, we were missing a few pot parts and a couple of them weren't cut out all the way. Uh, we gave Mo a quick call and lo and behold, a few days later, uh, we had those missing pieces completed and now they're on the building. So now everything on the building is all test fitted together and taped. So this is, this is how the, the substructure is going to look. Uh, pretty impressive. It all goes to quite nicely and so this would be uh, fun to move move forward and apply the, the details to it. The um, one of the things that we did first was to you know we're gonna have lights maybe some sound effects and maybe a few other things inside of this building and on the outside so we need a way to get those wires in there and what we do is we run a conduit under the station platform and have it come up inside of the building. The best place I think for that to happen in this building is right in this section right here. There on the first floor, there's really, uh, there's only one door and so there's no windows or anything. So you aren't gonna see a conduit coming up and some electronic components and wiring and so forth in here. So that's a good place to hide that. And so we did, we drilled an inch and a half hole in the base of, of the board here, the PVC board. And now that gives us access for the conduit to come up and supply our, our power and electronics and so forth. So I think that's a, a good location for that. I'll close this back up. So after that, after we drilled that hole, we got the we got uh, Manny and a couple of his guys, and uh, he carried this up to the uh, up to the top where the station's going to be, and set that out. And we used a large sharpie to uh, once we positioned it exactly where we wanted it to go. We um, drew all around the building, and what we've done up there for the platform is we've taken these I think they're 16 inch square concrete pavers and we've done two layers and we offset those pavers so one joint is not on top of another and that seems to give us a really nice smooth flat uh, platform in order to apply the tile and so forth later on and it's pretty stable once you get those two layers with the overlapping the, the uh, seams of the pavers work really well and you can use uh, we use a landscape adhesive to put those together gives it a, a really a firm grip, but just a, a little bit of a flexibility for the freezing and thawing and, and things along those lines. So we carried that up there, drew it all, drew the outline around the building, and also uh, drew out the circle inside the building so we know where to drill that hole in the concrete paver so that the conduit can come up inside. It's about this time that we need to start thinking on how we're going to, the different steps that we're going to do on applying the details. Um, so like the stone, uh, the wood planks, the windows, and there is a lot going on. So I want to talk about first about the, um, up here where the gift shop is, there's a lot going on up here, a lot of pieces, a lot of angles, and we want to, it's also kind of, I think, one of the focal points of the building once this is done. So we want to make sure this looks really sharp and cool and, and nice. So uh, in, the, in the real building, I believe also we looked at it, they kind of have a, a, a tinted windows in this semicircular. So I went to the, the glass shop and found some um, tinted glass, a gray tinted glass. And we're going to have uh, the folks at Southwest Water Jet cut out the pieces uh, that will fit these windows right in here, all the way around. And that should give us a nice, uh, nice cool look 
with a glass, with a tinted glass. And all of our window detail I get from Stoneworks. And they make these really nice uh, detailed uh, window kits. And so we will assemble these window kits and they will then, and we'll have the glass right inside of here. And then these will go right on the glass, over the glass in the window uh, spot. And then we will bring either the wood or the stone right up to the edge of the, uh, of the window casings. So that should give us a nice tight, watertight uh, weather resistant seal around there to keep everything dry inside the building. It, uh, we'll have clear windows all along here and the uh, smoke right here. I might also still do some smoke glass in, the, um, in this big uh, restaurant uh, window as well. We really like using these um, Bridge Masters. Um, you know, with uh, Jeff and Gary, they make a great product and they have a, a double lamp post, a single lamp post. And so the double ones we're gonna have uh, going along about every foot and a half or so on the, around the building and along the, uh, the track platforms. And then at the end of the platforms, uh, we'll just have a couple of single lamp posts uh, sticking out. But I think all said and done, we'll probably have somewhere between 20 to 30, 35, 40 of these lamp posts around the station. And they make these uh, nice little drop down lights. And so they're gonna go right here and right there and on the other side of the building. We'll probably have 10 to 20 of these um, dropping down. I found the best way to get the uh, wire up to these lamp posts and so forth out on the platform uh, through the concrete is we drill a hole all the way through the two concrete um, pavers and then we run this uh, silicone tubing um, up through the paver and connect it all the way out uh, to where the junction box is. And then you can, what's nice is we use this um, security cable. It's uh, 22 gauge stranded and it slides nicely right through this. Um, and so this acts like almost like a little flexible conduit. Uh, and that makes it easy if you need to replace the light bulb or it really protects the wire from failing or getting damaged and gives you, you know, years and years and years, um, practically a lifetime of, of service, tubing through the, the pavers and under, under the ground to the conduit box. And then that's where we hook it up to the main city power um, supply. And all the way around the building and the platform is we have a ring of conduit with junction boxes uh, every few feet. So it's very easy to tie all the accent lighting straight into the main power source uh, around the, the station platform. So once we uh, test fitted the, the platform uh, with the station and make sure that, you know, I think it really looks cool. It's a um, nice proportion, fills that space. And it's, it's really a kind of a fun feeling when, the, um, when you go from a uh, concept to a uh, rough build and you set it out there and it goes, hey, we think this is gonna work. So that's pretty exciting. So we got the guys, they brought it back down, set it up here in the garage. And as soon as those windows come in, we will start, uh, the next episode will be going ahead and, and starting to apply the, the details on the sides of the building. So once again, I'm Holly McLean and if you have any questions or comments or ideas or suggestions, we would love to hear from you. Please email me at holly, H-A-W-L-E-Y, at trainlee.com, T-R-A-I-N-L-I.com. And we would love to get those emails. And also, if you could do me a favor, please uh, follow us on this channel, Alpine and Western Pacific. If you see us on Facebook, please like us and please share us. Uh, we definitely want to grow this channel and share um, our techniques on how to um, build a components on your garden railroad. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time on Train Lead Tech TV 
and the Alpine and the Western Pacific Railroad. I'm Holly McLean, and thanks again for watching.